here's, I, I think the vision is in these 19 countries, 12 of which are in Sub-Saharan Africa, we should see a dramatic reduction in hunger, extreme rural poverty, and child stunting within a few years. Uh, we're about two and a half years into real implementation of the program, and the level of scale has been fairly significant. If you look at... In those, in the, in those countries. Right, we've right. gone from you know 1.8 million farm households to 7 million farm households. Uh, the quality of the benefits they're receiving in terms of improved access to seed technology, uh, new fertilizer technologies that are more environmentally friendly, but also more productive and more cost efficient uh, from the perspective of producers and their access to markets, often enabled by mobile phone based technology and other modern marketing tools and systems are all leading to a transformation. But the goal is uh, in these 19 countries, each one we've identified what we call a zone of influence, which is essentially the kind of large scale breadbasket of the country. In each of those areas, we're conducting household uh, surveys that I think will over time serve as a DHS, demographic and health-like mm -hmm. survey system for agriculture for the world. And in each of those settings, we're conducting dozens of, I think, 40 total impact evaluations of programs at large scale. So all that data will come in the next few years. But what I think you'll see is for, uh, for those countries in those areas, you'll see a transformation of the picture of rural poverty, hunger, and mm -hmm. um, child malnutrition, and I think that uh, will be an important marker for the world in terms of what can be achieved.